Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways of how we can easily remove acne and blemishes in Luminar Neo. On top of it, I will also show you my favorite trick on how we can scan the face to make sure that we find all the acne, blemishes and scars so we can remove them. So as you can see, I'm already in Luminar Neo and we are starting in catalog module. We are looking at the two sample files we're going to be using. And if you want to use them on your own computer and follow me along, the easiest way is to jump into the description of the video, click on the link there, head to our Dropbox account and download them from there. Once you're ready, we can start with the first image, simply click on it, select it and move it into edit module by clicking on the edit on the top of your screen or using E on your keyboard. Before we're going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this video is powered by our Luminar Neo Masterclass. For a little fee, you will be able to master your editing workflow using the full power of Luminar Neo. Our Masterclass contains more than 69 videos with over 6 hours of training in 4K quality available on all your devices. You can find out more about it on our website cleverphotographer.com and get the best price if you follow the link in the description of this video. Now once we in the edit module, let's just zoom in a little bit and let's have a look at what we have here. So there are some really visible spots. We have the red spot right here, a little bit here and then we have three more on her forehead. So the first and easiest way to remove the blemishes is to use the skin AI tool. So let's head into our main toolbar and scroll down all the way towards the portrait section. In the portrait section, head into the skin AI tool, click on it to open it and let's have a look what we have here. Now, if you want to learn how to use skin AI tool, we have a full tutorial on this on our YouTube channel. I will link it in a corner of the video. So make sure that you check it out later. However, we're talking about the skin defects like acne, blemishes, scar and so on. So this time we're going to be focusing only on the skin defects removal AI. As you can see, it's simple checkbox. So let's just click on it and see how good job it does. And on this image, it actually did quite a good job. Let's have a look at the before and after. And we can do that by clicking on the eye icon in the top right corner of the tool. So before and after. And you can see that it pretty much removes the bigger spots. The only spot that is left is this red scar here under the mouth. And I think it's because maybe there is the hair or something like that. It's a shame because that one is really visible. However, still as a starting point and really something for a quick edit, the skin defects removal AI is a great option. So remember, the first and fastest way of how you can remove some of the skin defects is to head into your main toolbar then go into the portrait section, then skin AI tool and click on skin defects removal. So that's the first option. Now let me show you the second option. For this, we're going to head back to the catalog module. And in a catalog module, we're going to select our second sample file. Once you have it selected, let's bring it back to edit module. And before we're going to continue, I want to show you my favorite trick on how we can make the skin defects, again, acne and blemishes and scars more visible. To do this, what I want you to do is to head into the main toolbar in the essential section and into the black and white tool. In the black and white tool, click on convert to black and white. So that will turn the image into black and white and then head into the luminance section. So click on the luminance and bring the red slider down. Now, as you can see, when I do that, 
you see how these imperfections are starting to come out on her back and also on her face. You can also jump into the yellow slider and bring it down a little bit as well and you will see that sometimes that helps as well. So now you can really clearly see those spots around her face and around her back. So what are the other two ways of how we can tackle this? The first way is to use the clone tool. So let's close the black and white tool for now and let's scroll all the way down towards the professional section of our main toolbar. All the way on the bottom we have the clone tool, so let's click on it and open it, make it nice and visible and let's see, maybe we need to zoom in a little bit, you can do that by using command or control plus or you can also head down to the bottom of your screen and just pick one of your zoom options here. So maybe we zoom in even closer. We can use a space bar to move around the screen. And let's say that we take care of a few imperfections here. So what you're gonna do now, you have the sampling point available. So we wanna just select something very close to this blemish and just click. Once you do that, you have set your area, which we're gonna use for cloning and stamping the other areas. And now we can adjust the size of our brush and also its softness. So let's make it nice and small. And now very gently, we're just gonna paint over this blemish here and it disappeared. So we're gonna now move to this area. So again, what you wanna do, you wanna hold Alt or Option near to the spot. So we are sampling the skin there and just click. Once you do that, you set the target area and now you can just very gently paint over the spot and it disappears. Now let's have a look at these two here. So again, Alt or Option, nearby, and just paint over the spot. And finally, one more time, one here, and again, just paint over it. Now let's have a look somewhere else. If we maybe want to double check, we can also take care of this spot here. So again, just hold Alt or Option, select the targeted area, and paint over it. Now it's a little bit brighter than I want it, so if I want, I can use Command or Control Z to bring one step back. So it kind of appears back. And now I can again with Alt or Option select different area for my reference. And I can again paint over it. And that's that. Now when I'm ready, I can just zoom out and have a look at the result. So that's the first way of how you can remove the blemishes. Not actually first way. The first way was the skin AI. However, the second way is the clone tool. It works most of the time. However, if you run into the problems that maybe you're running into struggles with the texture of the face or maybe with the light, the third option I would use then is the Erase tool. So let's close the Clone tool and let's head up to the Essentials tool. Here we're gonna open the Erase tool and let's again zoom back in towards the face. So we're gonna use Command Plus space again to navigate around and let's just have a look what we want to remove here there are some parts so what we want to do in erase tool first of all is to make sure that we are on a select so we're going to be selecting the areas we want to erase or replace then we want to adjust the size of our branch and we can do that with the little slider here or you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard and now simply paint over the areas you want to replace so one here one here some here also some here, and you can really select all the points you want. See, take your time, use the backspace to move around if you need to. You can also adjust the size of your brush if you feel like you're making too big of a stroke. And if by any chance you paint over an area you didn't want to select, so just like this here, you can then click on deselect. So from select to deselect, and then just paint over the area and it will disappear. Again, go back to the select and paint over this blemish, this part here. Let's have a look at this part here. And I think as a starting point, that's pretty good. Of course, that we could take our time and do more of it, but as a starting point, it's good. So once we're happy, all we need to do is to click on Erase. It will take a moment, the computer will scan the image and the application will replace, erase and remove these blemishes and acne. And looking at it, I think it did a pretty decent job. Let's again zoom out. And now it's a good time to have a look at the before and after on what we done with the erase tool. 
So maybe we can quickly try to remove a few more of the imperfections on her back. So let's again zoom in and let's just see if we can remove some of these spots. We are still on select. Let's just paint over these areas. We can make the brush a little bigger. And again, it really is very much an artistic decision on what you want to remove and what you don't. It really depends on what you're trying to do. If you're working on editorial edit for maybe like a cover of a magazine, you're most likely going to be removing a lot. If it's just something like a family picture and you will take care of the little things, you can do it much faster. However, I think this is about it for the time being. And once I'm happy, again, I just click on Erase. Again, it will take a few seconds and it will remove all of these uh, spots here. Again, we can zoom out, double check the before and after. And I think it's really cool. Now, there's one more spot which kind of taken my attention, which is right here. So again, let's zoom in and just gently paint over it and click on Erase. Zoom out and we are done. So once you're done with your erase tool or your clone tool, or often maybe you're going to use both of them, you're going to use clone tool and erase tool, you can now turn off the black and white layer. So to do that, we're going to go to the top of our main toolbar, click on edits, and in the edits, we're going to go back to our black and white layer here. So we will click on it. Now, don't worry, all the blemishes and everything will appear. But what we want to do here in the black and white is we want to actually switch it off. We can reset it. So we click on reset tool and then we can click on the little bin. However, just in case we want to switch it back on again, we will just hide it and we will go to the top into the erase tool. Now, when I close the erase tool and open it, you will notice that all the spots we have removed with the erase tool and clone tool are gone. Now, again, we can go to the bottom of our screen and let's have a look at the before and after. And I think we did a pretty decent job. Once again, I know that this isn't a perfect edit. I know that there is a spot here and there are some other spots around. However, as a starting point for you and a building knowledge on how to remove these spots, I hope this was helpful. So let's just quickly recap three ways of how you can remove the blemishes. First one is the Skin AI tool and the very simple Skin Defects Removal AI. So simple check on button, click on it and see what it does. After that, you have a two more tools you can use. One is the Erase tool and then the Clone tool in the Professional tool. If you want to scan and really make the acne and blemishes and scars visible, make sure that you use my trick with the black and white layer and black and white tool, where you simply convert the picture to black and white and bring the red and yellow color down. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Give. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.